Whoa. See this? Christmas caterpillar cakes. Week number 27. Not festive at all. I uh, don't know what's going on today. Maybe it's just Monday. Oh, but I'm so tired. I'm tired. I was meant to film today and I just cannot do it. I'm literally staring at my camera and I just can't bring myself to do it. So I'm calling today right off. It's already four o'clock. Mum and dad were over for a bit. We had some lunch. We got some blinds for upstairs, which do not fit. They do not fit properly. They're like, we thought they were gonna be made out of material and they're made out of plastic. So they're just like a bit shitty and we are just so tired. <laughs> um, I got new hair. This is my new hair. A blonde, a blonde moment. But I've just got it out of my face just now. Which I actually love. My new favorite thing to do with my hair is just a low down pony. I just do this all the time. It's easy, it's out of my face. Great, I'm very happy that it's short hair and this kind of style is a trend. I got these in the post today. Kiehl's Creme de Corp Body Smoothing Oil to Foam Body Cleanser and Nourishing Dry Body Oil. And it smells absolutely unbelievable. So these are making me feel quite Christmassy. I think that's what it is. I just want it to be Christmas. I would just want to stay in my house and watch movies and have a bath. That's all I want to do. But today is Monday, so it's PT day. PT in four hours. Oh, I'm just having one of those days. So, Jack. Oh, Selena got the, the memo about the blonde hair. I'm glad. It would be really embarrassing if uh, she hadn't done it in the same day as me. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, Drop was booked in at the vets because he's getting his little his little men chopped off and I'm devastated about it. But a good thing. We need to do it to be safe that he doesn't make puppies. To make sure as well that he doesn't get testicular cancer because dogs can get that so that's happening tomorrow morning really early we need to be at the vet for 10 past 8 in the morning so tomorrow is going to be a really productive day and i know that if i get my makeup room sorted out first then i can be productive tomorrow and not have to worry about it i think when i am sitting in a mess it makes me really stressed out it makes me like not happy i think that's the case with most people but this is a mess and also my clothes up the stairs again are a mess and i just don't know how it happens i think it's because i don't have a good place for either of those things to go. Like my wardrobe situation upstairs is rubbish and then my storage down here is absolutely rubbish as well. That is my complaints of the day. And do you know what? That's not that bad. Me and Jack are gonna have some soup, maybe watch a bit of a TV show, clean up this makeup area, get changed, go to the gym, come home, sleep, wake up tomorrow, drop out at the vet, productive day. I'm gonna film two videos. I've got a bunch of emails to reply to. And by tomorrow night, we're gonna be on top of everything. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> going to PT. Drobba had his operation he's fine. Mum and dad are going to go and pick him up. And that's what's happening right now because the camera's going to die. What have you got in there? Can you just scoop those toys right up? What's in there? What is that? What's that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> that comes in handy there, Thank huh? You. He likes his cone. Oh look, you can't take it off him. It's like a shield. Oh, can't get in. How many, how many channels does it give you? Making the most out of a bad situation, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So my camera kept on dying today, which is a shame because I've not really been able to update you. But remember I said yesterday I was going to have a productive day? Well, me and Jack got up at 10 past 7 and we took Droggy Boy to the vets because he had the, the old snip snip and he just looks, he looks pretty miserable to be honest. This is, this is what we're dealing with. How sad is that? Oh, getting some love. You're a little winded soldier. A little winded soldier. The vet said that he'll be back to normal. Totally healed actually, seven to ten days. We're holding hope that it'll be a bit better tomorrow. I think he's still got the anaesthetic in his system right now. Filmed two videos, Jack edited them. I went to PT today, me and Cara went, it was really good. And now I'm just finishing up these edits, sending them over. One of them sponsored, so it got sent over to get approved. The other one is not. 
it's just a makeup tutorial on this look in fact really really basic I wore it last week though and some of you guys asked for a tutorial so by the time this video goes up that tutorial will definitely be live so you can go and check that out if you want and apart from that <sighs> me and Jack are having beans and toast beans and toast beans on toast for dinner because we want to my favorite council dinner ever we're about to watch a new program. What? The Punisher. It's called The Punisher, I remember. And I'm watching videos about people with multiple personalities. It's very interesting. Mmm. Fried egg roll. What are you showing me? Oh my god. You're a terrible that's partner just, when it comes to eating healthy. That's just an Nikki. Look at the pepperoni one. Is that an Nikki? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Me and Jack are having a quick bite to eat and then we're heading out. <laughs> Me and Jack are heading into town, going to La Belle Forme. Now for anyone who is not familiar, La Belle Forme is where I get all my injectables. I don't like that word but it's true. So that's where I get my Botox done, that's where I get my fillers done when I get fillers. Dr. Schweb, who owns the clinic, he also owns other clinics in like the one in London and one in Manchester I'm sure, but basically it's the best place in Glasgow slash Scotland for these things. I am going in today to see Caroline, who also does injectables, but we're doing a treatment on my neck. So if you saw it a few vlogs ago, you'll have seen that the thing that bothers me most about my myself is my chubby face. You call me a potato, look, it's giving me, you're giving me a complex. Potato face. <laughs> it's just the shape. Yeah, I know. The shape. It's, just, it's just the shape. It's just shaped like a potato. You can just say I have a heart shaped face or... Unless you had a, a heart shaped potato, then... Right, okay, fair enough. And I'm going to get this treatment done on my neck and basically if you saw the vlog you'll know what I'm talking about but it's basically extreme heat which makes collagen work better or start working again in your skin basically that heat fat cells die fat cells die does that not sound like the dream come true mm. so that's what's happening that's what we're doing today and then after that being sick me and Jackie boy are we're gonna go for a food shop Drogba's doing much better today, yeah. isn't he? He's still, he's still wearing his cone, he's going to have to wear the cone for what? Another... Nine days. Another uh, nine days or something. Maybe. He looks like a lampshade plant or like satellite a dish. He looks, like looks like a satellite dish. <laughs> a doggo lamp. Yeah. Wait, why are you going this way? I'm, I'm just going this way. Going the scenic route? It's not a scenic route, it's better. The Glasgow Safari. seeing some real results around about the four week mark but we're doing six sessions in a row they're all booked in I'm not gonna miss any me and Jack are just reminiscing about school and Jack just said that he used to go and get a half pizza crunch supper supper with chips as well uh, I just got a half pizza like a bottled half pizza from the chip shop yeah, a, a, a pizza crunch, if you don't know what that is, it's basically like half a it's, margarita. It's incredible. It's, uh, it is incredible, but imagine eating that every day like now. Deep, it's you like would deep, be such a badass. Deep fried, that deep fried, deep fried pizza. pizza but, but it's in batter like, and a can of juice. And then he would go to Morrison's, which is like a supermarket, and he would get... I'd go to Morrison's and get a full pack of chocolate muffins for a pound. And eat the tops off them all. Let's <laughs> not be a gym class hero. Gym class after, after. You are absolutely full of the one liners today, it's killing my soul. What did you have for your lunch? Put it down below. Tell us down below. Uh, yeah. What did you have for lunch at school? Let us know down below. Is that what you meant to say? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's okay, look, we'll help. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> oh look an egg. Hello friend. Are you gonna come up and see me? Where's my strawberries? My strawberries are right here. Uh, I think you'll find them mine. Are you fighting today? Is that what you want to do? I'm not fighting, I'm just saying the truth. Look how spotty I am. Guys, I'm breaking out and I think I actually think it might be because of my favourite foundation. Huda Beauty Foundation apparently has some ingredients in it that are a wee bit reactive. And I never break Incoming. out. Incoming! <laughs> Watch ah. him! Oh. Conehead, are you okay? Oh. Droba's got a wee neck pillow to make him extra comfy. So yeah, the Huda Beauty Foundation 
could be the reason I'm breaking out. So I'm going to stop using it for a while. I'm going to, I'm lying in bed. I've got strawberries and an apple and vampire diaries and a face mask. I'm going to do this one. Clear skin lover. After the bill form came home, we had dinner. We just chilled out. I had a nice bath. Hence why I look like an egg. Hello. So today is a bit of a boring day really. I've got, I got up early this morning. Drog was doing good. He's doing very good. Thank God. Still feel really bad for him. But he's doing much better today. Jack's mum came up and paid us a visit. I just had to get some photos for work. And now I'm sitting and I've been sitting here for about half an hour cold and not doing anything. Does anyone else get like this? I've seen the meme and it's like when you come out of the shower and you just sit in your bed for an hour with your towel on. I'm really bad for that. I just sit and I'll just be scrolling on my phone or I'll just be sitting thinking about all the stuff I've got to do and I'll, I'll just be like frozen. I'll be like, I don't want to do anything. But me and Jai were talking about going out somewhere this afternoon but we don't really know if we can leave Drogba for any amount of time. He seems fine. He's really used to his cone. He's not tried to get it off or anything like that so maybe, maybe it would be okay. Jack's worked out. I was just talking to the vlog Jack saying we don't know if we if we can go out or not or if we can go out for a while and come back or well, I say that like we can, we can go and just not come back. <laughs> I'm freezing today. I don't know if you've noticed but when I'm cold I can't do anything. Where do you want to go if we go somewhere? Also it's 20 past 3 and it's nearly dark outside so I know the most miserable thing ever. I booked me and Cara for a pedicure. We're going into town tomorrow morning for a pedicure as a treat for her birthday. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> what is it? I've just got some exciting news. <laughs> and I can't tell you if you don't know what you know. <laughs> yeah! <sighs> That's a new one. <gasps> call your own. Something to fight for. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> I'm making jelly. Jack's making jelly. I'm making jelly. <laughs> jelly, sweet potato fries. Jelly, sweet potato fries. Sour cream and a little bit of cheese. Sour cream and a little bit of cheese. I need to go and check a jelly. Peace! Go and check a jelly. That's my man! That's my man! Me and Cara are going into town and we're getting a pedicure because we deserve it. So we're going and we're getting a pedicure at the Pure Spa in West Nile Street in Glasgow and I don't know, never been before, don't know if it's good or not, booked it yesterday so that's quite a last minute appointment which is good for us but they weren't busy, but anyway I'm holding hope that it's going to be amazing. Jack's away with droggers to the vet, Just he's fine, he's fine, he's just getting his check up, make sure his, his bits are okay. <laughs> from H&M I want to show you. I got a few mirrors which I thought was really cute. This one hangs in a chain. I got this little mirror which is really sweet. It's like it looks like a plate but it's not. And I got this mirror which is like a really teeny tiny one that's like a star. So we're going to start building a gallery wall which is going to go behind you on that wall. I got two decorations but I can't find another one. But I just thought that was really sweet like a little metal decoration. This little guy for my like two candles go in it for the table. I got gold pillar candles. I got this big blanket for the bed that I thought Drogba would like. Huge big chunky knit blanket which I thought was really sweet. Uh apron because I am helping cook. Oh! I'm going to help cook Christmas dinner this year. I've never done it before but Jack's mum and dad and my mum and dad are coming up to the house. So this is a little apron, which I thought was quite cool. Kitchen chef, 100%. And then this really cute little photo frame that's like one of the glass ones, which I thought would be sweet as well. And then I'm going to build that wall up with black framed photos as well. Yeah, I'm really excited. H&M, Black Friday, 20% off. So that's everything I got from H&M Home. Well, I say H&M Home, basically the H&M in town has like a home bit. 
So Jack took Drogba to the vets today. They said that he's healing really, really well, but he has to keep his cone on for about 10 more days, which is gonna really suck. It's gonna be really shitty for you, buddy, but it's all worth it, okay? He's really good though. He seems pretty much back to normal. He was away playing in the snow. It's snowing here pretty heavily, I will show you. But, um, oh, I got one more thing from H&M. Got bells. So these are good though, because I'll just keep them every year and I'll keep on putting them up. Won't we, Drogba? So that's what I got at HM. Um, yeah, Drogba's fine. Jack's away out to the gym with his friend mm -hmm. and then he's going to meet his mum and dad for a pint. And my mum and dad are coming up because I've figured out what I'm getting Jack for Christmas, but I need help. Oh, I don't know if you'd guess it. Hmm. Jack obviously edits all these, so I can't tell you. It's a secret, it's a surprise until Christmas Day. But I'm very excited. I finally figured out what I'm going to get him. I am winning at Christmas this year, full show. I filmed a Instagram tutorial for Rihanna's Fenty's new Stun a bitch. It's actually not called stun a bitch, it's just called stun a bitch. I call it stun a bitch because the hashtag is stun a bitch. So I did a stun a bitch Instagram tutorial, which was quite fun. I've not done one of those in ages, but it was really fun to do. Now I am on my way to Cara's house and we are going out for her birthday. Um, it was her birthday last weekend, but she was in Paris. So we're all going out to, I think it's called, is it called Whole Long after all? Whole Long, I think, in town. And then we're going to go for some cocktails. So I'll film a little bit, but not too much. I don't want to get in her face with the camera, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. So Jack had his night out last night and I'm having my night out tonight. Jack says to say thanks Lauren for asking how drug is. Did she ask him how drug is? Or is that sweet? Yeah, and also Drogba, I made Drogba on Instagram and he's reached 10K in less than 24 hours. <laughs> that, he's, he's making it look he's like the easiest star. job in the world. We are all schmucks. <laughs> 